get her mind. Don't worry about her body. See, if you get her mind, her body gonna follow. Stop trying to please yourself through her pants. They got these toys out here. You can't do nothing with them. Get her mind. Don't worry about her body. They got a toy for that. I'm telling you. Don't worry about her body. I'm telling you. You try to think you tear it up. It's a rope dude will come hit some spots. One of the things that the manosphere fails terribly at doing is really explaining to men the pathology of women. The manosphere convinces men that women are these instruments for our consumption. Women are simply the consequence of our success. And if you check these specific boxes, you get this the amount of six packs, you get this amount of money in the bank, you get this amount of status that women will come to you. And it's true. However, it fails to acknowledge the reality of human beings needing companionship and needing people who actually genuinely care about them. I think the manosphere only addresses the ego stroke that comes along with status and wealth accumulation. And one of the consequences of that ego stroke is you end up around people who are simply around you because of what you are, but not who you are. So you end up with the baddies, you end up with the club promoters, you end up with the club owners and, and all that good stuff, but they don't really care about you. They care about what you do for them. They care about the boxes that you check. And it puts boys and men in this perpetual state of competition, right? I have to be the best uh, lover she's ever had. And for most men, that means I'm spending more money than any other man she's ever been with is capable of spending. I'm having sex with her better than any other man is capable of doing. I am driving a fancier car. I have a fancier career. I have high status. And the reality of it is a lot of those dudes are the main ones getting cheated on. Because the reality of women is all those boxes that you check is cool. It's what's going to attract her to you. But it's not what's going to keep her. And to Country Wayne's point, what's going to keep a woman is having her mind. Her body is a consequence of her mind, not the other way around. See, a lot of men are programmed to think of women as consumer goods. And women only exist to validate my masculinity. Women only exist to validate the status that I've achieved in life. And some of those men achieve certain statuses and wonder where are the women? And that's where you get the angry, fresh and fit-esque, telling women that you have to have sex with me if you wanna come on my show, or you have to do this for this, uh, transactional guys. When you have other guys who the woman is spending on them. And a lot of times we talk down on like the quote unquote Pookie and Ray Rays where the guy is driving her car or you know the guy's living at her apartment. But I've always said there's something that we can learn from those men. Like toxicity to the side, because they didn't have the boxes checked, they had to play a different game. They had to play the game of getting into her head. And honestly, fellas, that's where you want to be. Because, and I say this to women, if a man has two women, one he lies to and one he tells the absolute truth, chances are he loves the one that he lies to the most because he is trying to keep up an image and a facade for her. He wants to be Superman for her. He's, he's afraid of losing her. But the opposite is actually the case for women. If a woman has two men, one that she lies to and one that she's completely honest with, complete authentic self, the person she likes the most, the, she loves the most, is the one that she is honest with because women crave security. And to men, security looks like, oh, I got you a house, I protect you and I provide for you. But to women, that also involves emotional security. Can I be myself with you? And myself means not a bad bitch. Myself means all my flaws. Myself means loving me naked, I think it's an LMA song. And oftentimes, I think a lot of us young men, we, we neglect that and we focus on box checking. She cheats on us with some bum because while we were focused on all these accolades, we never, we never had our mind. And that's not to say once you get a woman's mind, it's a done deal and you can never lose it. But the reality is to country Wayne's point, there's somebody out there more handsome than you. There's somebody out there more interesting than you. 
There's somebody out there with more money than you. There's somebody out there with a better, better sex game than you. If you're focusing on that, you will lose because the type of people you're going to attract to you, especially women, are going to be people focused on that. And when they find another that to focus on, you're no longer of interest. So the reality, brothers, learn about psychology. Be an interesting person. Understand what's going on in the world, what's going on in pop culture. Listen. We say it on the channel all the time. Listen, then speak. What differentiates the guy who actually has success talking to women and the guy who doesn't is that this guy is actually more involved in hearing what she has to say. Not in an interrogation way and, you know, like she, he's the police, but like, yo, tell me about yourself. And that's what gives her that level of comfort to open up because that's part of what she needs to do even sexually is open up. But the other guy... He focuses on the fact that she's a bad bitch and she's going to play that character for you. But in the long run, you're going to lose. I want you guys to look up the 36 questions that lead to love. Group of uh, psychologists, they came up with 36 questions that apparently if two people ask them each other these questions, the outcome will be love. Whether or not that's the case is by the way. But what makes those questions work, quote unquote, or tie in together is the fact that each of those questions gradually force the participants to become more and more vulnerable. So like, as we talking about standing on your square and the whole nine and don't divulge too much, part of seducing women, if you're interested in women, if you want relationship with women, is showing something. But most importantly, giving them permission to be themselves. That's it. And then you get to choose if you like them, <laughs> the, the version of them that they're showing you. But yeah, just checking boxes, brothers, it's not going to work. And you're also not entitled to any outcomes. That's, that's the main thing. She's not, she's not supposed to like you because you are X or Y and Z. And obviously, there's a conversation about the type of masculinity that our women in particular celebrate and our women in particular give attention to. But the reality is we also have to look at why that is. For better or worse, Pookie and Ray Ray make her more comfortable. For better or worse, Pookie and Ray Ray give her permission to be honest. And that's part of her feeling safe. Now, obviously, that's been bastardized and that's gone too far. And there are other reasons why Pookie and Ray Ray make her feel more comfortable. But as far as brothers who are actually doing the right things, stop leading with that. It'll get you there, but it won't keep you there because then you have to be human. Then you have to be relatable. Then you have to make her feel safe. You wanna be the one that she's being honest with, not the one she's feel, she feels like she needs to put up a, a front for or create a facade. But at the same time, she needs to understand that you are valuable as well and that she has a good thing and that there are other women who would be thankful to have just a piece of you. It's a delicate dance and we'll talk more about it. If you want to see more of this, please click that like button. It helps tremendously. And share this to somebody you think would gain value from the message. And hit that subscribe button as well. Peace out, y'all.